Welcome Wolfpack to episode number five of our Ostriff Let's Play series. My apologies for the long bout of time between this episode and the last one. I was working on some update and showcase videos to put on this channel and introduced a new game, Deadliest Catch the Game, to the channel as well. Enough of that, you're here for Ostriff, so let's jump into episode number five. All right, let's jump right in here and see what we're going to do. I think we are going to right away, we're going to start uh, by dropping our laborer's wage down to about uh, 220 to 225. And that should keep our basic monthly wage. That's going to keep our workers, I believe, if, I'm, uh, if I've researched correctly, I think this is going to keep our primary workers like the blacksmiths, the carpenters, the fishermen. That's going to keep them employed at their primary jobs. They're not going to run off and go uh, do laboring jobs that everybody else can do. So we're going to start off with that and we're going to see how it works out. And since it has been a while, I'm going to check and see how much stuff we have laying around here and uh, what we have to do. Right now, it looks like we're sitting okay. I think uh, everybody has stuff in their house as well, which is always a good thing. We do now have a chicken coop here, so we are waiting for the uh, trade center, somebody to come in over here with the uh, ability to purchase chickens. And I think maybe we'll just send somebody out. Okay, we are going to lay out a cow shed, a cattle barn, so we can go ahead and get... Uh, cows into the operation and we can we'll be able to get milk and beef uh, eventually once we do have a slaughterhouse here well, we'll put the cow shed right about there and that'll take a little while to build so we're not in any rush to do that and we'll also go ahead and uh, get a slaughterhouse thrown into the queue as well and uh, we're gonna put those right pretty much near each other over here Let's go make sure that we are, our foresters are back at work. Yes, there's two of them back at work. They're doing their thing. That's a good thing. After those farm buildings are done, the uh, cow shed and the slaughterhouse, they'll come back and we'll build uh, two more houses. The cow shed will also bring us the ability to get uh, ox as well, so we can actually plow our fields and we'll get a better yield out of each of our seasons as well. I think our warehouse will go over here so it's near our production buildings and uh, be prepared to put a line of them uh, right here in the middle so we'll see how it works out and that won't take long to build at all uh, we might push that one up just behind the cow shed we're going to do hemp the first year there and then uh, actually we're going to do sunflowers there because uh, sunflowers are needed for the oil so now it appears that uh, since all of the resources are collected, now the builder will come over. Uh, they used to, the builder would come over and actually build before all the resources were collected, as long as they were at some point, uh, at least one of these stages. So I'm not sure what's up with that or why that happened. All right, so we're in the middle of the harvest here. We're at uh, October 1724. We have our cow shed that's getting ready to be, uh, the finishing touches being put on it. And as soon as the trade center offers a, uh, a messenger with a cow, uh, or with a couple of cows, we will go ahead and pick a couple up before we run out of money here. That is going to be our loose plan for now. Here's our messenger. Let's see what he's... Hey, look at that. We're going to go ahead and take him up on two bulls, two cows. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take him. And it's going to take a little while to get over here. Uh, but we really need this to be done now. So hopefully our builder will come over here and put a roof on this place and we can get a uh, worker in here to gather our uh, wheat and water that we need to uh, keep the cows alive when they get here. I forgot all about that, but hopefully it'll work out for us. And I do believe a female worker will work in, in here. Come on, builder. All right, we're good. We'll get a worker in here. Resource supply, worker by cart, worker by uh, labor, by hands or cart. And we need hay and we need water in here. And our worker, we can hire men or women for now. We'll use a fallow field as, if available, and that's going to actually bring our uh, nutrients back up for that year. So that's where the cows will be for, the, uh, for next year. All right, we're waiting on a worker. Hopefully we can get a female. We will get somebody over here before our cows arrive. Otherwise, we're going to end up with a bunch of dead cows. That's not good. There we go. All right. So hopefully they will. She will start gathering resources. That was close. That was a. Uh, I've had the, that happen before, where I brought them in and they've died immediately because I have no uh, no food and water for them when they get here. Not good. Two one-year-old cows. Two one-year-old bulls. Right now they're good to go. They're drinking water. They have food. And uh, right now we have less than a month, but that's what the Oris Orisaya is working on. So. Her last name's easier to say in her first name. So we should have milk also to now sell at the uh, market. So I'm going to go ahead and put milk in here. Uh, we're waiting on nails for our warehouse. And then when we get nails for our warehouse, we should be able to move 
Actually, I don't know if we can move anything over from here. I guess we will find out. Snow is flying already. Uh, we did get our fields um, all harvested, so that's good. We're waiting on some nails from the blacksmith, which he should be not have a problem kicking out nails right now. I don't know what uh, what he's doing this winter, but... And we are getting milk over here now, too. Very nice. So our granary... Let's see if our milk is actually heading over to where it needs to be. Yes, it is 1724. We've already sold five uh, gallons of milk. And these two, uh, these four will breed and uh, we will eventually end up with more cows. And then we will make, we can make one of them a bull. Uh, I'm sorry, an ox. We need two ox to make plows though. So uh, we're a little bit, a little bit away from being able to do that. See, now they started constructing over here. They didn't hear, but they did hear. So I'm uh, confused why that happened. They waited until we gathered all of our resources here. And over there, they started constructing without all of the nails. So not really too sure why that happened, but we do have a busy planting season next year. We'll have hemp, we'll have uh, potatoes in the big field, and then sunflowers in this field. So uh, that should be a busy spring for them. All right, we have a uh, messenger from Marifa. Let's see if they have any chicken. Uh, they do have chickens. Very nice. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, 15 chickens. And uh, we're going to wait for them to get here, and we should be good to go. For some reason, I thought we had chickens. It might have been on the game that I was playing off uh, off camera, maybe. That's maybe that's what's confusing me. Uh, that will give us eggs and chicken meat to sell as well. And let's change this. We're going to make this chicken egg. And I think we're going to go ahead and build another one of these, because we are going to need another one. And to customize, we'll make it look like uh, similar to the others, which I think was this. Hey, look, it's got a chicken on it, too. So that'll be up. If we ever get off our butts to do the dried fish, we're going to go ahead and put the dried fish in here. Put a worker in there. We're going to do chicken meat, chicken egg. We'll take the dried fish out. And we'll make this one back to dried fish. That way the fish is in the same one. OCD. That's just my OCD. Let's go ahead and only hire women over here. We're going to start planting. Our cows are out in the pasture. Yeah, I hear you. And we have started our spring. All right, we got another messenger here. They have pigs, cow, horse, nails. You know what? Maybe we'll grab a thousand nails uh, since we can before the economy tanks, if, as if it hasn't already. All right, the granary, we are going to remove dried fish because we are not seeming to make it. We will put the chicken egg in here, and we will set that to well over what we think we'll need. 2000 but these guys they don't have enough uh, food variety and when they don't get enough food variety they leave town like they're going to get better food somewhere else so i don't i don't know but we are producing a fair amount of eggs and as long as they're selling over here they should be okay we do have milk our warehouse is complete so let's go ahead and put some uh iron in there oh we can store wheat in there nice so it looks like we're right on the borderline of being able to supply them with enough food or food variety, um, but barely. Hopefully we can make a comeback here and see how it works out. But yes, as you can see, we're cycling through here. They don't like the variety. Then they get some variety, and then somebody else doesn't get some. So we're like right on the borderline of uh, what we're able to do and what not to do. So we did bring our nails over here, and I think we're just going to go ahead and empty this out. And uh, once that gets emptied out, that'll be the last of our initial... Uh, buildings that will uh, get destroyed obviously this is our initial well and this is where the settlers where we started in episode one this is where the, the settling tents were so once they empty this out that building will despawn and I think uh, we're gonna take wheat out of there and we're gonna put chicken meat in here and we'll set the a thousand which is way more than what we even have the capabilities to do right now so you can see here we have nine hatchlings we have a limit of 15 once those hatchlings become chickens, they'll start slaughtering more chickens for meat. So that should work out well for us uh, to get this food variety down. Uh, additionally, we also have the milk over here from the cows. We have uh, a bull that was born. Uh, they're over here in the uh, pasture, but uh, we only we still only have two female cows, which are the ones making the milk. So hopefully, we just uh, we can just skate around enough to where they're uh, cycling their food variety problems around each other and uh, it won't cause anybody to move out just yet. 
Not sure what the counselor does. That was an update, but I'm not really sure what that what the the counselor does. So, this we'll find out in the near future. We're gonna drop our laborers' wage down to two dollars. And we are uh, in the positive for income, I guess. So that's that's a good thing. So hopefully our potato harvest is uh, decent. Our hemp harvest was okay. Go ahead and put our hemp over here. And we have another messenger. They have live chickens, and we can offer some offer some horseshoes. I'm not sure how many we have over there, but horseshoes we can give them uh, 97 horseshoes. Interesting. We can give them 80. That will be a fallow field where the uh, cows go the next time. So we do have uh, people eating water, flour, and fish. Looks like they're making eating a lot of bread. That's probably what they're what they're eating. Do have a, a fair amount of stuff in here, but for whatever reason, they're not picking it up from the stores or from the marketplaces. And our food variety is going down. It's just hit and miss on what's when it's going down and when it's going up. So I'm not really sure what's up. All right, now we can move this. We're uh, doing buckwheat next. Over here next is wheat because it's full. This is sunflower. And this, as soon as it's all harvested, I guess we didn't get much out of it. It's already snowing. So whatever we didn't get, we didn't get. Wow. Now I'm wondering when those hatchlings turn into chickens. That's when you're going to start seeing chicken meat show up. Not sure if that's in the spring or what. Our slaughterhouse is in the process of being built. And we have plenty of materials around to do it. It's just a matter of gathering them. Looks like we now have enough workers for all the jobs in town, for the most part. But uh, now we are... We need to make sure that everybody is getting on everything that needs to be done. We need to make sure that uh, we are getting food. So that's uh, that's our next issue. Everybody doesn't have enough food variety except for the two people that moved in and brought their own food. There we go. We'll start to see some uh, chicken meat now coming out of the chicken coops. Eggs are here. There's the first chicken meat right there. I think we might uh, grab another two cows. We'll make it four cows and then uh, one more bull. That should allow us to get a little bit more milk. That should allow us to get uh, some more or get closer to getting some beef as well. And we are now selling the chicken meat that we are producing right here. Perfect. Yep, that's probably you that just got whacked. Chicken meat's already reserved. It's going out as fast as it's coming in. Gotcha. Our slaughterhouse is now ready, and we can slaughter cows and pigs in the slaughterhouse, and we have already have an animal. So if there is a cow baby in the spring, it will push us over the limit of 10, and then one of the uh, animals that is not protected will be slaughtered, or you can mark them for slaughter. A cow died of starvation. This is not good. Where did our workers go? And unfortunately, when they die of starvation, we do not get them uh, the ability to have their meat or beef. So we're losing our cows because we have no workers, and they did not keep up with it. So unfortunately, our workers ran off and decided to do something else. I'm not really sure why they do that or what causes them to do that, but it's it's kind of annoying. I, I wish workers would just stay at their positions unless you pull them off. Uh, they got, kind of go off and do their own thing. Drop me a comment below. Let me know if you guys know anything about that and how to prevent it. I would love to hear your feedback on that. We did drop a couple of houses right in here just to make sure that we have enough uh, workers and uh, to continue to grow the population here. And we're going to put a couple more up here in this little neighborhood that we have going up here. Do laborer by hands as well. And uh, we're also going to stock this up. We're going to make this a thousand, and we're going to make this a thousand if it will let us. Looks like it will. Good. That'll give us plenty of food and water for those uh, animals. This one and that family is out of food. That is not good at all. Got a couple of families out of food and water. So we might need a well here in the very near future. We're going to go ahead and put a well in down here by the farms, which uh, I think it would make sense down here by the farm, so we will do that. And we're going to push that right up to the front of the line for uh, construction. And we are going to drop another fishing dock in. It seems that it uh, should be time for another fishing dock. Family is moving out. That's not good. We don't need that. Another well complete. Got a family moving in and we got families moving out, so <laughs> we will see see what happens here the good news is when they move in i believe that they bring their own food for a while so that's uh, that's a good thing and a couple of cows back uh we did get a newborn bull so we have three bulls now and three cows i don't know if we ever did get our plow made or the farm it doesn't appear so it's in the uh, queue so it did not get uh, made yet 
but it's uh, should be the carpenter should be working on that. One more order in the queue, except he's not doing anything with it, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. 55 people in the town, 0% open vacancies. We have laborers. We only have one laborer, but you know what? Let's get some more chickens in. I guess we'll get, uh, we'll get 10 more chickens in. We'll bring them over and uh, probably slaughter them or slaughter some right away for food. We have brought chickens into our settlement, which have fed our people with eggs and chicken meat. And we've constructed a cow shed, which has brought milk into the settlement. We've also just finished construction of the slaughterhouse that will be used to bring beef to the tables if we can keep our cows alive long enough. We've also added another marketplace, and we're in the process of building another fishery. All of that, and we still have some major food issues going on in the settlement, and we hope to correct that in the next episode before those residents start to move out. If you enjoyed the episode, please drop a like and consider hitting that red subscribe button and setting your notifications to all. Don't forget to check out our Ostriff update video that dives into the changes that have occurred from Alpha 2 to Alpha 3. That link is in the description below. This entire Ostriff playlist is popping up onto your left. Continue on to episode number 6 by following that playlist or by clicking the Watch Next link in the description or pinned comment below. If you also enjoy survival and military games, consider subscribing to my second channel showing up right now. If you've caught up with this series, check out our Transport Fever 2 series showing up to your right. Click any one of those links and we will see you over there.